So we learned how to calculate the number average molecular weight of a mixture of two different polymer samples, uh, A and B, each of which has its own distribution of chain lengths, but where we only know the number and weight average molecular weights associated with those distributions. So now let's see how we could calculate the weight average molecular weight of the mixture. And a starting point again uh, is to look at each individual component. So the weight average molecular weight, remember, is the sum of the product of the number uh, of chains uh, with molecular weight mi times mi squared uh, added up over the entire distribution for polymer A divided by the sum of the product of ni mi uh, over the entire distribution for polymer A. Now remember that this product ni mi is a weight because it's moles times grams per mole. So we can substitute that in and we end up with in the numerator the sum of the product of the weight of polymer that has molecular weight mi times molecular weight mi divided by the sum of the weights uh, of polymer uh, in each of those bins in our distribution function. And we notice that that essentially gives us the total weight of the polymer A uh, in our sample. So we have that in the denominator. Then we can rearrange this and solve for this parameter, the summation of the product of Wi times Mi for polymer A that's equal to the product of the weight of polymer A times the weight average molecular weight of polymer A. And we can use a similar argument uh, to get the equivalent expression for polymer B, the summation of the product of Wi Mi uh, over the entire distribution of chains in polymer B is equal to the product of the weight of polymer B times the weight average molecular weight of polymer B. So now we can go on and see how we would calculate the weight average molecular weight of the mixture. Uh, in the same way that we examined the weight average molecular weight for polymer A, uh, we have the total uh, sum of the product of Wi Mi for polymer A plus the sum of Wi Mi for polymer B over the total weight of polymer A plus polymer B in the sample. Now you can see that we can use our previous result and substitute for these summations in the numerator uh, in terms of the product of the weight times the weight average molecular weight. So when we do that, uh, in the numerator, we have the product of the weight of polymer A times its weight average molecular weight plus the weight of polymer B times its weight average molecular weight over the total weight. If I factor out for each term this ratio of weights, notice that I obtain an expression like this where I have the weight average molecular weight for each of these uh, fractions, polymer A and polymer B, uh, times its weight relative to the total weight of polymer in the sample. So these are the weight fractions. WA over the total weight is the weight fraction of A, which I denote as WA star. And WB over the total weight is the weight fraction of B, which I'm denoting as WB star. So then I can substitute in and obtain a final expression for the weight average molecular weight of the mixture as the product of the weight fraction of A times its weight average molecular weight plus the weight fraction of B times the weight average molecular weight of B.